So what I did is I contacted the Attorney General's office. I said, give me an opinion on what the state law as it's written currently, because I want to know, because what I think went down was wrong. And so I got a letter back, and I'll, I'll give you just a brief little Please. what I wrote to the Great. Attorney General's office. It says, I'm writing to request an Attorney General's opinion on whether law enforcement and emergency medical personnel are to be considered caregivers under the Omnibus Adult Protection Act while a vulnerable adult is in their custody or care. The answer at the end of this is that they, the Attorney General's office said that they should determine it on a case-by-case -case basis, that they didn't want to give me an answer. And so it should be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Law enforcement does not normally provide care, and they generally, you generally would not view them as caregivers under the current law. Now, why was that a question you were asking? What did you want to know from the AG? What I wanted to know is shouldn't the EMTs or the Sheriff's Department law enforcement been responsible for Mr. Tereshuk? I wanted to know the answer because I think what they did was illegal. I mean, I think that legally someone should have been responsible for him that night. So in your view, it's not just that they didn't meet the appropriate procedures. You're saying th their behavior, the EMTs and the law enforcement officers, may have actually crossed over a line into illegal behavior. Right. But according to the attorney general, that's not the case. If in the view of the attorney general, it may have been wrong but not criminal, right? then how do the Tarashucks get justice? I don't know that they can, they get justice. I, I don't know that there is justice for Paul in this case, but here's what I can tell you, that I'm going to change, I'm going to work this off session to change the law. I mean, I've already got um, my research director working on what we need to do to change the law. So that EMTs or law enforcement officers acting the way we see in this videotape can be prosecuted for doing something criminal. Correct. Where if, if that ever happens again, that we're responsible for vulnerable adults. I mean, and we should be. We should be responsible. When you encounter a vulnerable adult, if you're in that position, if you're in a position to protect and care for vulnerable adults, you should be held accountable. And they were definitely in a position to be held accountable for Mr. Tereshuk.